Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Thursday the 25th of May. Well, a quick recap on Wednesday's performance. Well, two nowheres, a bit disappointing really. The third horse won, I took 5-1. to one. I think, I'm not sure, I've got a funny feeling it returned 15-2. to two. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong because I'd actually only only sat there and watched it because obviously I had the um, the tricksy so I had zero returns but those of you who obviously place your bets a little bit better than I do or or staking um, staking plans well would have probably I, I had that with one of your other selections or oh, sorry with one of your own selections so let's get into it so I've subscribed to flat stats for a seven day ten pound trial um after going through it, it looks like it's probably going to be benefit us the most on a Saturday. And I might even give selections out for a Sunday. Uh, what they do, they give it a ratings, which I've gone through for today. Um, but they don't update it till it's either, well, it says on the website after 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. But there's no sign of it. And look at the comments, it looks like it's pretty much either half an hour before the last race of the day or half an hour after the last race of the day. For the following day when they update it well they've had quite a few winners but um it looks interesting but well yeah it looks interesting i'm not going to go any more into it really so i like i say i've had a look at flat stats and i've look at, had a look at the draw i, I, I don't want to give too much away because obviously they've got paying subscribers and obviously i'm one of them um i don't want to make it look obvious exactly how i'm using the um, statistics so i'll get into it so I've had a 20 pence each way, lucky 15. I'm also going to have 50 pence each way singles on each of the selections. I haven't placed that yet because um, I'll just put the lucky 15 on first. So the first selection is Thunder Blue at 15 to 2 in the 3 o'clock at Haydock. I've gone for this because it's the Ammo Racing um, Limited horse. They've got a lot of decent horses now. It's bred to be a bullet. There are better horses. Well, there are horses that have okay form in this race. But I do believe that some of them, over time, want further. Well, this horse is bred purely for five and six furlongs. And uh, so I'm expected to be a decent sprinter. You'd have thought, you'd have thought it's probably going to be half decent because they're, they're a big, they're a big, um, what do you call it? Um, it's, well, it's not a syndicate, but uh, they're, they're a big owner now. Um and it looks like they're investing a serious amount of money into, into the, the horses and the, and the breeding as well. So we uh, definitely want to keep an eye on for tomorrow. I, I like the look of it. Obviously, no form to go on. The nap of the day is Chamber Choir at 11 to 2 in the 3.40 at Catrick, paying four places instead of three. It's the nap of the day, but there are still doubts over it. But it ticks most of the boxes or more boxes than anything else. This is related to flat stats. It has a, a decent draw um, based on the distance. It's It's got a sire that hates the all weather. Our dad. Um, it's actually ran twice for John Gosden. Its debut was dreadful. Then it ran to a racing post rating of 72. Well, it's rated now, this horse, is much lower than that because it's had, it's had campaigns on the all weather. Um... This horse, like I said, is not bred for, your, for, for the all-weather. But ulti ultimately, it could be just as bad on the turf. But what I'm going is, I'm going that it hates the all-weather and it will show improved form because it's it's coming off the all-weather onto the turf. It's got Ben Curtis on, on board, which I, I do really like it when he's riding my horses. I have got, a, and I couldn't give any flat stats, but I have got a good strike rate, or it seems like it, when Ben Curtis is on my side. So it's the second favourite. It's 11 to 2. It's not a fantastic price. But I think it's got a right chance. The third selection is Woodland's Charm. At 18 to 1 in a 10 past 4 at Catrick. Paying 4 places instead of 3. If this was 33 to 1 like it is on the Racing Post site. This would be uh, one of those horses where I say. Uh, this should not be that price. Well it isn't that price now. Because. Originally, it was 22s, but because I was faffing around looking for a fourth horse, it, it got back into, well, it, it moved into 18 to 1. Um, I think it's a fair price. It could well easily double in price. I don't know. 
But what I expect, it's got a decent draw according to flat stats. This also isn't bred for the all-weather, and it's had its two recent runs this year have been on the all-weather, and, and they've been average at best. It is now returning to a track where it, it has won at. It's also won at this track off a one-pound higher mark. Is it in the peak of form? No. Do I expect it to um, relish t tomorrow's quick conditions? Yes. I expect it to relish the track as well and the distance. So I think it's got every chance. And as I selected this horse, it was it was actually the outside of the lot. But obviously, 18 to 1, it's now the outside, outside of the lot, barring two or three horses. I do think it's got a decent chance to beat each weight price. And finally... Without delay at 12 to 1 in the 12 minutes past 5 race at Catrick playing 4 places instead of 3. Well, as this is all from memory, I may have got this wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Dell Swift is back on board. It's run numerous times over this course extremely well. It's got a lowish draw or low it or low enough draw. I think it's actually drawn seven, but I'm fine with that. L low to middle, and you're fine at um, at Catrick. I think it's got a cracking chance. It's not the strongest of races. Um, I did see that Muta Narsek runs in the race again, but I cannot back that horse uh, drawn 12. That Bear in mind, for those of you that don't know, I backed Muta, Muta Narsek last time when it ran a crapper, crapper, uh, crapper, a cracker when it came placed second at a big price. So those are the four selections. And as I said, moving forward with flat starts, we've got seven days free up. Uh, yeah, seven day trial. I'll be really delving into it on Saturday. Um, unfortunately, though, I'll, I'll, I'll be. I think the, the video may be delayed till the early early hours Saturday morning. If you're happy with, um, like, let's say a nine o'clock Saturday video, let me know because realistically, if I'm going to use flat stats, I need to use it on the morning of the race so I can look at their um, ratings. If you'd like a video the night before, I will. I, I do think I will choose many selections the night before based on how I choose them anyway I don't, I don't want to delve straight into flat stats and only give you horses from flat stats I want you to give them because I fancy them as well as well as flat stats I probably made that so confusing so anyway I'm seven minutes in now I've only given you four horses if you can give me a like or a subscribe that would be great so I'll see you on Thursday for Friday selections the very best of luck Charlie Winters over and out cheers mate